Hello everybody, it is Gifted Llama and welcome back to Pokemon Ruby version. I hope you're having a good day. I really do. Um, and you know, talking to this old woman made me just remember something that I forgot. We gotta go to the berry house. Gotta go to the Pretty Petal Flower Shop and get some fucking free stuff. It's like going to Costco at lunchtime and not actually buying anything and walking around the store picking up free samples. That's basically what we're going to be doing right now. Hello. Sure, I'll learn everything there is to know about berries. I'm very interested. Oh. Yep. Oh, you don't give me anything? Oh, come on now. All right. Uh, no, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I do, I do appreciate it. All right, cool. All right, cool. All right. All right, what we got here? <sighs> All right, the Whalmer Pale. That's actually a useful item. Helps our berries grow. All right. Okay, it's like they have the will to live. Well, you know, I mean, it's a living thing. I think all living things have a general will to live. It's kind of like the purpose of 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 uh, organic life is a uh, purely survival, and also to uh, to reproduce. You know, I, I would say. Anyway. So we are about to enter. I'm I'm a little sorry right now. I'm a little like uh, strung out and exhausted, cause uh, the past few episodes we've been like fucking going in. We've been going in on some topics, um, a wide range of topics. You know, kind of loosely related as we float from tangent to tangent. Um, and as a result, in this episode, I kind of just want to take it easy, just chill a little bit. This would be like the, the palate cleanse episode, you know? If you're watching these episodes in order, like in a playlist, um, you know, you're probably feeling the same way too. You're like, oh my god, we were like, we are going all over the place. Now, I'm not saying the last few videos are like revolutionary and you have to like watch them to get some fucking meaning to your life, but I'm saying like, you know, we went in. Like, there was a lot, there was a lot presented, and I'm hoping that in retrospect it was presented in such a way that, that, like, fucking doesn't sound like a bunch of random gibberish. I can't tell at this stage, because I'm still, it's the, still the same recording session. So, like, I won't be able to know until I edit the video later, you know? Because it's hard to tell. It's hard to, like, look at yourself from outside. Look within from outside. Dude, see, I'm already, I'm already going off on, like, all these fucking crazy things. I'm, I'm, I'm partially convinced I'm beginning to lose my mind. And that may be due to the fact that I got five hours of sleep last night. Um... Because I was watching the Super Mario Brothers Super Show on Netflix, and uh, the, the the amount of Italian spaghetti references is was just phenomenal. Like, you know, I would have thought it would have been a lot. It's kind of like the, it was like the Big Bang Theory. How uh, nerd jokes are to the Big Bang Theory, Italian jokes are to the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. It was just like. It was oversaturated. It was just like, oh my god. Right out of the box is like, you got spaghetti on your overalls. Fuck you, Luigi. Yes, he actually says fuck you. The laugh track covers it up. They covered this in Oni Plays, by the way. Definitely subscribe and watch Oni Plays. But he says fuck you, Luigi, after he reveals there was spaghetti on his overalls. And uh, because there's a laugh track, it sounds, it does, you can't really hear it, but you can definitely see him mouthing the words fuck you, Luigi. Um, and speaking of fuck you, Luigi, we're going to train Sporticus up. To the point where he's a big strong boy and we're gonna do that by going on this route and just getting it out of the way now the trainers at least because we're gonna have to come back here after the gym to deal with uh, some team magma bullshit but uh, I think we can definitely make some serious progress here with our boy Sporticus <clears throat> but yeah I mean so this episode we're just gonna fucking chill and grill you know I finished all my green tea, so I don't know what I'm going to do with my life now. I mean, there's another one in the fridge, but the thing is I'd have to get up. And no, I just, I'm not committed to that action just yet. So as a result, water will suffice. Um, but anyway. So where are we in Pokemon right now? We are, like, we're at an interesting place. Because, uh, we're about to take on our first gym. And that's exciting. That's, like, that represents our first concrete badge of progress, quite literally a badge of progress in the game, you know, and, uh, it means something, you know, it means something. I don't know why I got all fucking, like, sentimental there. It was a little gay, not gonna lie. 
Not, not that I have anything against gays, but it was it was a little gay. So we're gonna move on. <sighs> See, I feel as a let's player, I'm trying to to juggle between uh you know being that let's player that like doesn't offend anyone and like the let's player that just doesn't give a shit. And oftentimes I find myself going towards the latter. I'm trying to strike that balance, you know. Cause there's like the let's players that like have to like censor themselves and shit, and they can't say certain things. And then there's the others that just like don't give a shit. And uh, it's it's definitely an interesting uh, disparity between the two, to say the least. Um, but as I said, as I've said in past videos, I'll be on this series. I kind of want to, I want to bridge the gap, you know, between uh, I'm stretching out here. Uh, I want to bridge the gap between like um, kind of let's plays that are like more serial and regular and structured, and the ones that are more casual and uh, more on the comedic aspect. I'm not calling myself a comedian in any sense of the word, but I'm just saying, you know, obviously we have moments of a uh, funny business on the show. Not many, though. I don't, I don't care for funny business. But when we do have them, uh, we, call, we try to cultivate a little. So, you know, we gotta strike that balance. And you're probably going like, well, hey, Zach, why are you fuck are you talking about, like, why are you talking about your, yourself and what you're doing in, like, a meta sense right now? In the very own video that you're, like, talking about. It's just, like, I often find it an important exercise to, like, to, to think metacritically of oneself and one's uh, doings. You know what I mean? I feel like I just said this, like, a couple episodes ago. I need to stop, dude. Dude, I'm like, we're going, we're going off the hook too many times. You know, but I mean, l listen, w would it be interesting if I just talked about the game? I could be like, all right, hey, look, we're in the tall grass right now. We're going to get this, uh, this repel. And repels, they actually, uh, they, they yeah. repel Pokemon away sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't work, though. In new games, it doesn't work, which is fucking bullshit. So I could talk about shit like that, or I could talk about stuff that, like, is, is, you know, that's on my mind. And that's one of the things that's on my mind, just the whole meta an analysis of, like, of what we do, what I do, what other YouTubers do as a Let's Play. You know, they have that balance between, like, the serious Let's Player, you know, someone I would say, like, you know, Northern Lion. I mean, he's not fucking serious, like, blah, 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 blah. but, like, you know, it, it's a more structured, organized kind of content, whereas as opposed to, like, something like Game Grumps or Oni Plays, which is more of a comedic sort of thing. Not really focused on the actual game, but more so the comedy and the personalities pre presented. But I would also argue that Northern Lion has a personality presented in such that it's entertaining to listen to. Um, but it definitely has a lot of to do with what the game is going on as well. So, where I stand on that is, like, I kind of want to bridge that gap between, like, the serial structured LP, like this one. You know, I intend to finish this game. How many times have I said that before for other games? Like I said, we have to be self-critical. <laughs> but, um, you know, I intend to finish this game. But at the same time, I also intend to not be, like, you know, a fucking, like, you know, uh... Game facts strategy guide telling you fucking every little nook and cranny, and like saying, "Well, uh, this Pokemon has all the stats. Uh, this is the abilities that it learns." You know, I'm not saying that's a bad thing to do. You know, people like Chug Conroy who in the past have done that excellent. Like they've created wonderful let's plays that are incredibly inform informative as well as entertaining. I just, you know, that's that's not me. I'm j I just want to play games, dude. I fucking love Pokemon Ruby. That's where that's where I am. I'm just fucking playing Pokemon Ruby, dude. That is all I want to do. I want to play Pokemon Ruby. I want to fucking get a Blaziken. 420 Blaze it. You know? And just have a good time. That's where I am. I feel like I've been talking in circles. So we got we better move on. Wismer. That's another good Pokemon that I like because it's a 3 evolution. No fancy business involved. And Exploud is fucking awesome. And also a little terrifying. Because it's... It's very, uh, like, you can see the progression to madness from Wismer to Exploud. You get, like, Wismer, which is like, hey, what's up, guys? It's me. Loudred's like, her, And then Exploud's like, Rawr! And it's just like, dude, you gotta quiet down. Like, lower the decibel levels a little bit. Alright, Sporticus, it's time to train. Will I actually deal any damage here? <gasps> oh, I actually did some damage. That's interesting. It's very interesting. And we are almost at level 16, which is wonderful. Oh, that was a good knuckle crack. 
Geodude. Another one. Oh, come on. Oh my god, we're running out of time. Dude, these episodes are flying by. I have to readjust. What the fuck? I burned Geodude? Dude. Dude. Oh my god, I'm getting all tangled in my headset here. Excuse me. Alright. Ugh. That's very interesting. I never thought I would get a burn. I never get burns. Especially on a fucking Geodude. <gasps> Leveled up. There we go. Uh, yes. Let's learn Peck, please. I only really use attack moves. As, as I said at the beginning of this Let's Play, like, I'm not, like, a professional or, like, a competitive player. So I don't use, like, strategy moves. I just use straight-up attack moves. That's how it's always been for me. This is the kind of player I am, you know? Everyone has different play styles, you know? Similar to everyone has different pronunciations for certain words, like stamina and stamina. Okay, I have to stop. <laughs> we can't we can't go down that road again. I can't help myself. It's fresh in my mind. It's burning. Like a burning cross of agony. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch last episode. <laughs> That's a good connection. That bridges the gap between episodes right there. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to regret this episode or not. Just because of the fact that I was just all over the place mentally. Uh, but that's probably the norm for me. <laughs> Jesus Christ! You see what I'm doing? I'm just beating myself up right now. Anyway, let's get, uh, let's get Combuskin. Oh, hell yeah. That is what I'm talking about. Double kick. Alright. Yes. Focus energy. Bye-bye. Alright! There we go. Awesome. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode because we're like fucking 12 minutes in. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. It helps out a lot. And make sure you subscribe too for more daily gaming videos. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.